You don't need this for school at all, do you? Please give it back to me! If I don't have it, I'll freeze! You can still go to class despite the freezing, can't you? In that case, I'll just confiscate this blanket. Why is this happening? If only stuff like this would simply vanish from the world. school regulations. Any item considered cute shall be confiscated by a teacher. You too! Good morning! Her name is Akari. She is a freshman in Magical Girls of Amazing Rainbow School, who is the magical girl that conjures fire. Good morning. Good morning, Carrie. Her name is I. And this one over here is Midori. Rumor has it that a while ago, a teacher was hired on short notice. Have you guys met her? Not yet! What would the teacher be like? I'm so pumped! I really hate that person. I... That's a terrible thing to say about a teacher. Is everything okay? You guys didn't know? That person is absolutely a stick in the mud about school rules. Anything such as skirts being a tad too short, or hair not being tied into a ponytail will receive lectures from her. But, but it's part of their job for teachers to make us follow school rules. And yet the way she carries out her work is too unnatural. I've been in her crosshairs once. If I could, I wouldn't want to see her again. Um... Speak of the devil. She's the teacher who got hired on short notice? Finally get to meet her! She seems like a passionate teacher to me. Okay, let's cut the crop and run. Hi. Stop right there. Oh god. What's that with the short short skirt? Take a look at Midori. Besides her nice and tidy hair, her skirt is also the appropriate length, isn't it? Me. And you came to school without your earrings removed? I explicitly gave you a warning just a few days ago. No, it's... No excuses. Walk with me to the homeroom teacher's office right this minute. You will not grow up to become a decent adult with this kind of behavior. Oh dear lord, you should go to class without me. I'll be at the homeroom teacher's office and join you guys later. Uh, okay. Safe trip. Confiscated! It's been a string of disasters for I this morning. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it. I was wearing earrings, and that's against the school rules. Even so, I do wish the teacher didn't say something like not being able to become a decent adult. My thoughts exactly. That was a bit too much. Hey, it looks like I's back. You are... I, right? I still... do hate that woman. That teacher sure has very strict rules about school attire, doesn't she? I, you've changed back to the way you wear uniform, the previous style suits you just fine as well. Of course I have to go back to the way I dress. Now my hair and skirt are restored as the way they were. Only that my earrings are confiscated. Hope she doesn't throw those earrings away. It wouldn't really come to that, right? If it were that woman, she'd probably do it. Well, let's hope nothing happens. How dare you play on your phones during lunch break? I have to confiscate this. What? We're just taking selfies. Then again, it is obviously our lunch break. What's wrong with that? If you have access to your phones, you definitely fail to pay attention in class. Come by my office after school to retrieve this. I shall confiscate this too. There's absolutely no need for blankets in the classroom. Why would you? We could get frostbite in weather like this. Even if it's freezing, you can still manage. Plus it's prohibited to bring any item with cartoon characters in. Mids, I'm so sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. Well, well, well. You're sewing stuffed toys at school. This will be taken from you as well. She was only sewing a stuffed toy by my request. We certainly don't need sewing kits and stuffed toys at school, do we? I can't believe she took Mid's sewing kit too! This is so inexcusable! It's alright, it's all because I brought something that doesn't belong at school. You're too truthful, Midori. Besides, you had no idea it was when you should have said you were just helping out a friend. True! And it looks like there are many others treated the way we were. It seems like we can't just let it happen and do nothing about it. Yeah! Let's get our stuff back! See back! As much as we said we're taking it back, where do we start acting on it? I just went looking in the place where she keeps confiscated items, but I got zilch. Oh wait, could it be in the homeroom teacher's office? That's what I thought too, but there's not even a trace. Then where in the world could it be? Well... Oh, look! Is that a teacher over there? I remember no one ever seems to use that classroom. What's that teacher doing over there? Midori, use your power to fly me over to that room. Why? Why all of a sudden? Just do it quick. Okay. Here we go, watch me. Just as I thought. 
Teacher, what happened to your face? Did someone hurt you? I don't think that's it. You girls, when did you get here? I specifically locked the door behind me. That's because we used magic. Harry, we can't say it. You used the objects confiscated from the students, didn't you? What? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You take away people's stuff for no good reason and took the liberty of using it. it it's a grown-up's prerogative to use these things. It's never intended for you kids to possess it. Does that include stuffed toys and blankets too? Even kids have these things, right? That's it. Give back what you took from us, now. I, I won't. Neverthless, the things you did, why exactly did you do it? In my school years, I was never even allowed to possess such adorable things. During that time we had to strictly follow school regulations, and because of how harsh my parents were, I wasn't able to own anything trendy, let alone possessing something lovely, which was so unattainable for me. I thought it was all quite normal, until I started working, which was when I realized that putting on makeup was just a matter of fact kind of thing. It's hard being a grow up. So, I really envy students who can relish dressing up in fashion. This somehow sounds a bit sad. Even so, using other people's things without their consent is unforgivable. Oh, I got it! How about we help our teacher look cute? What? We don't have to do that. Just tell the principal. But, but, before I met Carrie and I, I wasn't able to dress with a good fashion sense. So, I kinda understand how it feels. Still no. Fine. I get it. Go ahead. Great! Thank you. I. I. I did such unforgivable things to you, and you're still... Oh no! We did not excuse you for what you've done! But... I want the memories we hold for this school are all happy ones! And you, my teacher, is part of the Rainbow Forest High! Th thank you all! Transition! A few days later... Who's that pretty teacher over there? Do we even have a teacher that pretty at school? Guys... It's the teacher! That's amazing. I thought it was someone else. Yeah, I was shocked too. It's because you taught me how to wear makeup and put together an outfit. Thanks to you girls, now I can get along well with other students. I owe you girls a bunch. That's wonderful! School life from now on will be more fun! That's right. Now I have no regrets. What? Are you going somewhere else, teacher? Due to my actions of taking upon myself to use a student's property, I was severely disciplined by the principal and repositioned somewhere else. I'm so sorry to hear that. But because of you, my final days at Rainbow Forest have become delightful memories. I think I'll have a great time working in the next school. Thank you, girls. Great! Though you'll be in a different school, please don't forget us! Hee <laughs> hee. I can promise you that. So, until we meet again... Okay! That was really great. The teacher seems very happy. Yeah, I bet the next time she won't make another mistake. Wow, would I be able to change if I put on some makeup? You are fine the way you are now, Carrie. Today's final result, the teacher's fabulous makeover.